Hello YouTube, and this is Zach coming to you by way of Zach's Fitness Studio. From my heart to you. Alright, guys, I'm here to uh, give you the week's lesson for the muscle aerobic class that, that, that just uh, past week uh, we had at uh, Tri-C. Okay, uh, what I want to do is I want to let you guys know if you happen to miss the class, what I'm going to do is give you the gist of the class. Okay, I'm just going to give you uh, the basics, the very basics, and I'm going to take you through a round of exercises um, one time. Now, what I suggest that you do, guys, is that you follow this procedure and um, apply it on a, once or twice a week uh, and try to increase your rep range. Okay? Now, when we were at the college, uh, the way I demonstrated these exercises, everybody was seated. And they were seated because they had went through a series of exercises and they were tired. So I gave them a break. So they thought. So they thought they were getting a break, but they, they didn't. But what I had them do was sit. Okay? And all they had to do was maintain a very good posture and they lift their knee. They lift their knee as high as they could. Lift their knee as high as they could. Lift their knee as they were seated. But I was asking them to maintain their posture. As they lift their knee as high as they could and came back down with the heel. Now, I timed them. I had a timer. But what, what I'm saying to you guys is just count. Count the uh, number of repetitions and try to reach for 20 or 25. Count the number of repetitions and then try to build upon that. You try to build upon that. This movement is like activating the hip joint, the knee joint, and those muscles in between the quadriceps, the hamstrings, the gluteus, the hips, they're all getting a little play from this movement. But in addition to that, you're also working the core, the obliques, and the rectus abdominis, okay? Now, if you're at home, I'm gonna suggest that you guys avoid the chair. Avoid the chair and try to do this exercise standing. And if you wanna be in the threshold of a doorway, that's great, because what you can do, you can use the doorway for stability. Here, I'm gonna use my uh, apparatus with this uh, Smith machine rail, and I'm gonna hold on to that just for balance, okay? What you're gonna do, and I'm gonna show you a profile view of it so you can see exactly what I'm referring to. It's called a knee flexion. And what you have to do, you have to engage the hip muscle, and you just leg extension, leg extension, and try to maintain that knee as high as the hip, and lift. And don't worry about how straight you can go. A lot of people are limited, as you can see I am, because of lack of flexibility. But that will increase with time. That will increase. Whatever you do to one side, of course, you guys want to do to the other side. And it's called a deflection. And working that quadricep as well as using the hip flexor as a stabilizer, okay? Now, what I had them do after that was just basically a seated squat, okay, where you come down and squat up. Come down and squat up. Come down and squat up. And if you're doing a seated squat, guys, you don't want to get into this posture here. You don't want to get into that posture here. You want to try to keep your shoulders up as best as you can. And don't worry about your depth. You work on your depth as your muscles get loosed and you get a little stronger and you gain more flexibility. Then you'll worry about your depth. But right now, you do the very best that you can. Again, I'm telling you guys, I'm suggesting to you guys to, uh, to count your repetitions. Try to work up to 20 if you can. If you can't, that's fine. 
wherever you stop, mark that and let that be your benchmark. Meaning that next time you come to the exercise, you're going to challenge yourself and try to go a little further. Okay? Now, the other exercise that I gave these guys, and like guys, you got to apply yourself to these. Just like I'm telling you in all these videos, you have to apply. You're not going to get, you're just going to get out of the exercise what you put into the exercise. So if you're trying to find a, a real easy way uh, to go around the exercise, then you don't look for uh, great results. But if you want to put your heart and soul into the exercise, and you want to be consistent with it, and you want to couple it with all the other components such as nutrition and rest, then you have yourself somewhat of a formula for success as long as you apply yourself each and every outing. Okay? Now, like I said, what I'm going to do, I am going to use water bottles. Okay? Just like I, like I had uh, a couple weeks ago. I just use water bottles. Now, if you have apparatuses at home, like weights or what have you, then go ahead and get those weights. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you some real basic stuff. And we're going to start to work on the obliques. And all it is is a side bend, guys. But it's the technique that I want you to implement in the movement to help to make it more effective. Okay? And this is how it's done. I'm going to get the water bottle. And I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep my thumb on the water bottle because what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing side bends. Okay? I'm going to be doing side bends. That was somebody at the door. That was the male girl at the door. I had the door locked. I'm sorry for the distraction, okay? And what you're going to do is side bends. Keep your chest up, abdominal wall in. You've got your feet spread about shoulder width apart. And what you're going to do, you're going to lean. I'm leaning to my right. As I lean to my light right, I'm going to in, in, uh, suck my abdominal wall in and lift my chest up as I come up. Lean, suck it in and lean up, lift up. Alright, what that does is it creates isolation. Okay, and it elongates the waistline and it creates an isolation. Okay, all you're doing is working the obliques. And all I'm doing is using the water bottle with water in it. Alright, whatever you do to one side. And guys, I'm not really counting the reps. What I'm asking you guys to do is try to work up to 20 reps, 25 reps, anywhere between there. If you don't make it, so be it. But what you're going to attempt to do, you're going to attempt to work your way up as you proceed week after week. Okay? That's for the obliques. Now, I I wanted to have my uh, body bar in the uh, picture here. So if you guys just give me a moment, I am going to go right over here and get my body bar. You guys bear with me. I'm going to be at you in a minute. Show you some stuff that I discovered. Guys, this is called a body bar. And it's a weighted body bar, six pounds. But that's what this is, okay? You go to the store to purchase one of these here, you probably pay about $36 for one of these here. Okay, all it is is a metal rod with some rubber around it and some caps at the end. Guys, what I've done, mind you now, this is six pounds, about 34 bucks. What I did, I went to the hardware store and got me some PC tubing with some caps. And I loaded it up with a metal bar inside, a metal rod inside. And I made a five pound body bar, okay? And all it is is a body bar. You could use a broomstick for this purpose. But all it is is a body bar. And what I suggest that you do with your body bar, you bring it around your shoulders. Not behind your neck, guys, but around your shoulders. And what you want to do is drop that center of gravity by bending those knees slightly, keep the hips locked to the front, keep your head locked to the front, 
as you do a rotation. And all I'm doing, I go to my extreme left without my shoulders following, without the head following until I get a contraction. I come back to center and I do the same thing to the right. Come back to center and I try to suggest to my clients not to do this because what happens is you start rocking with momentum and you'll find that you're no longer control the mo controlling the movement but the momentum is and that can cause you to torque a muscle but all it is is called spinal rotation spinal rotation all right and I'm getting the sides of the obliques the rectus abdominis the serratuses those muscles on the side of the body they're all being moved in this exercise all right so again save yourself some money go to the hardware store get a little creative and I think this cost me to make this here cost me about a uh, a dollar or something. So there you are, okay? Now, I'm gonna go back to the water jug because what I had these guys doing, I had them doing a combination exercise. An isolated movement followed by a compound movement. And then I also implemented a method called staggering set. In this case, guys, you can call it whatever you want. I'm gonna demonstrate the exercise in its entirety so you can see what I'm talking about. You would do say about 20 of these here. Curl, curl it, press it. Curl it, press it. Curl it, press it. Curl it, press it. Okay? You can follow uh, 20 of them or working up to 20, go as far as you can with that combination move, and then you'll go to the isolating phase. <coughs> That's the isolating phase. After you complete that, you go to the pressing phase. And I gave the guys, I gave everybody five rounds, which means we came back and we went to the curl, the press, the curl, press, the curl, the press. Okay? And that's called a staggering set. <clears throat> and you can be as creative as you like. You can do a lot of a number of things with that as far as switching that around. You can switch switch the numbers around also. So, of course, whatever we do to one side, we want to do to the other side. And this is just for demonstrating purposes. So, guys, I'm not going to do a lot of repetitions. Just give you an idea. Keep that elbow. I'm going to show you a profile view. Keep that elbow. Locked into the side as you do your curls. And again, you go to the pressing. And then back to press. Back to press. And if your water jug, if you fill your water jug up and it's a little too heavy for you, you can always reduce the weight. <sighs> By drinking it. Anyway, just giving you guys a little tippet on how you can use various exercises to help uh burn those calories and get those muscles in shape. Guys, I really appreciate you 
tuning in to Zach's Fitness again. That was lesson number six, I believe. I'm not for sure. I have to check my files. But if you missed it, do it. If you were there, do it again, okay? Because it's only going to get better if you apply yourself. It can't get, it can't get worse. It's always going to get better if you apply these exercises on a regular basis. And that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this, guys. So you guys will have something to refer back to and be able to follow these se sequence. If there's any questions, if there's anything that I missed, and uh, my videos are raw, okay? I'm, I, like I said, it's coming from the heart. So and, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me through email or Facebook or comment on my YouTube channel, okay? Again, the YouTube channel is ZAC Fitness Studio, all one word, okay? And you can go straight to YouTube on that or you can Google it. All right, again, I'd like love for you guys to check out my videos, comment, and subscribe. You have a great day. Thanks.